It is no secret that crypto bridging solutions have cost crypto users billions in the last several years. And this particular underrated layer one blockchain just got a huge upgrade on mainnet that will not only make it one of the more scalable blockchains out there today, but also provides a powerful solution to solve for the multi-billion dollar problem of cross-chain bridgings, trust dynamics. And that particular blockchain is Algorand. By the way, this video is sponsored by Algorand Inc. to bring you educational content about Algorand's technology. Every blockchain that is competing amongst the crowd of layer one blockchains is fundamentally working to solve the same problem, the blockchain trilemma, which dictates that when designing a blockchain network, you have to balance three major characteristics, security, scalability, and decentralization. But the trick is you can only achieve two at a time. Algorand's approach to solving the blockchain trilemma lies heavily in the pure proof of stake consensus mechanism that's at the heart of the network. Pure proof of stake provides fast finality of transactions and high transaction throughput at the core. And Algorand's consensus protocol is a thing of technological beauty. It enables low fees for users transacting on the network, including those interacting with smart contracts using Algorand's Algorand Virtual Machine, or AVM. Algorand's native execution environment. Interestingly enough, for those of you who are also focused on sustainability as a concern for blockchains, Algorand is also one of, if not the most sustainable blockchain in existence. Algorand implements what they call a quote, sustainable smart contract that uses transaction fees to buy carbon credits based on network parameters to offset the already negligible operating energy usage of the network. And as part of a mainnet upgrade in early September, Algorand got a big boost to scalability with its overall transaction throughput rising from 1,000 transactions per second to 6,000 transactions per second on a block time under four seconds, sealing slightly larger five megabyte blocks for each round of consensus. Upgrades to the AVM in version 7 were also contained in this update, bringing powerful verifiable randomness for developers to use to build wide arrays of applications on Algorand. However, the most important and powerful upgrade here was the introduction of Algorand State Proofs, the highly anticipated technology announced earlier this year at Algorand's Decipher conference. Algorand State Proofs provide the ability for entities external to Algorand to cryptographically verify events and state on the Algorand blockchain via a signed proof. And when I say state, I mean data that is stored on the blockchain. Things like user balances of tokens, data stored via smart contracts, things like that, data stored on the blockchain. A state proof in the context here consists of a bundle of signatures that attest to a certain piece of state or an event on the blockchain. Effectively, a state proof is a verifiably signed message in an envelope that summarizes a set of recent transactions on Algorand. And you might be thinking to yourself, okay, signed messages, cryptographic verifiability, what does this mean for me as a real world user? And that is the billion dollar question, literally in this case. The magic of Algorand state proofs is really in its application for various use cases. First and most importantly, state proofs are a powerful tool for cross-chain interoperability because other blockchains that wish to connect to Algorand and vice versa can use this common framework for attesting to state on either network without relying on additional points of failure that are often features of trustless bridges between blockchains, such as third-party validators that verify cross-chain activity on behalf of the bridge. Let's take an example. Imagine a DeFi protocol that operates between Ethereum and Algorand and wishes to allow swaps of assets between the two chains. Smart contracts will still lock and mint assets on the origin and destination chains, but the verification of these activities and their completion on either end will be verified by state proofs rather than a third party validator that would otherwise be used in a bridge DeFi application. In this example, state proofs allow both Ethereum and Algorand to exchange proofs that cryptographically attest to the state of data on each network in a secure and verifiable way without relying on third parties like validators. So a set of transactions can be validated on Algorand and then verifiably proven to Ethereum and vice versa, enabling these cross-chain transactions to happen trustlessly using state proofs alone. The introduction of state proofs really distills down cross-chain communications to its most fundamental form, which is cryptographic proof and verification of on-chain activity on two counterparty blockchains that wish to communicate with each other. In effect, 
Algorand State Proofs takes care of the heavy lifting that otherwise falls on developers' shoulders for cross-chain communications. And it allows Algorand and any other proof-of-stake blockchain to communicate securely and efficiently cross-chain. The end result is cross-chain applications that rely on the blockchain network security guarantees and the cryptographic guarantees inherent in the state proofs, bringing the ecosystem of layer ones closer together without exposing a user to the risks implicit in trusting a third-party validator as one often does when using current state or bridge implementations today. Of course, developers are still gonna be responsible for building high quality applications. Their code's gonna to have to be implemented securely, gonna need audits and bug bounties, and bridges will still exist, but state proofs will help make bridges that implement the technology much safer to use. The bottom line is this, as a user, you will have a secure way of communicating cross-chain without trusting an intermediary. And as a developer, you have tools to enable this cross-chain communication for your users. In order to achieve what I would call uh, mass adoption in the world of Web3, th the chasm that exists between every major layer one blockchain today must disappear. And Algorand state proofs are a means to that end. However, that's not the only problem that state proofs can solve. State proofs are also really useful for external applications that interact with Algorand. So things like wallets that might not always have direct or constant connection or access to a node on Algorand, whereby the wallet uses state proofs to get quote unquote in sync with the blockchain despite intermittent loss of direct access. This could even be used to improve node synchronization processes and other ancillary tasks in the Algorand ecosystem tech stack, helping develop developers build high quality mobile and web apps to interact with Algorand. The final note that I wanna make on this front is that state proofs technology is also a means to a very important end and that is quantum safety. To simplify this and keep it very brief, super powerful quantum computers pose a threat to modern cryptography, and these cryptography suites underpin the web, blockchains, and more. And quantum safe cryptography that secures our data against this quantum computing threat is very important. In fact, it is the most critical technology challenge of the next decade. And yes, this decade, not next decade. For us in the Web3 space in particular, because the security of blockchain networks are derived from cryptography and these cryptographic primitives involved in signing and hashing, et cetera, there's a distinct need for post-quantum standards that ensure the long-term finality and security of blockchain transactions, right? We wanna secure these data structures and quantum safe cryptography is the answer to that challenge. It just so happens that researchers from Algorand are amongst the handful of finalists in a National Institute of Standards and Technology or NIST program to develop standards for post-quantum or quantum safe cryptography with their algorithm called Falcon. Algorand state proofs rely on this quantum resilient cryptography standard under the hood, and they provide a way to stamp the state or history of the Algorand blockchain so it can persist in a post-quantum environment. This may not seem significant today, but as we track increasingly towards viable quantum computers that pose a real threat to cryptography, this will get increasingly more important. So make sure you watch this space. For those looking at Web3 as a long-term endeavor, one that's very early, the fact that Algorand is thinking ahead to future attack vectors and technology domains should give rise to a desire to research Algorand further, and that's the call to action of this video. If you wanna dive deeper into Algorand, its latest upgrades, its amazing technology, which is the whole reason why I love partnering with them to do these videos, I would highly recommend that you do so. You'll find links in the description to read more about the latest upgrades and some of the technology here, uh, things like Algorand state proofs and more. And for developers, I encourage you to check out the Algorand developer portal, also linked in the description, to get more information about Algorand state proofs, how to integrate them into what you're building. And of course, there will be more information to come on developer.algorand.org. And if you have some time to stick around, check out this video right here. It's a crypto video you are not gonna wanna miss, but most of all, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, cheers.